Okay, here we go. Hi, I'm Bill and welcome to the channel. And if this is your first time here, I have a video called Channel Introduction Start Here. It'll give you an overview about what you'll find on this channel, its purpose, a little bit about my speaking style that sometimes can be a little off-putting to people. But anyway, you might want to check that out. What you see here is my Xenostar 61 Mod 2. Attached to it is a dew heater. So part of my research uh, through hanging out in the Cloudy Night Forum is that uh, dew builds up overnight. So you get a dew heater and you put it around your dew shield and it will mitigate the, uh, the dew. So I knew nothing about it. I didn't know where to start. I didn't know which one to purchase. Being a little budget conscious, uh, I decided to go with uh, this one here at $19.99. There were some more expensive ones around $45. And in the long run, like is often the case, maybe I should have went with the more expensive one. But anyway, uh, this is the uh, dew heater that uh, I started with, um, $19.99. And um, I also had purchased a power station. I settled on the Jackery uh, Power Station Explorer 240. Uh, I thought it was time to start to understand this power station and whether or not it'd be enough power when I uh, go to a remote site. Uh, actually, Quizibo, a viewer of the channel, raised a question about this power station. I believe he saw it in one of the videos uh, that I had uh, done. So anyway, I thought it's time to start to understand this power station and start to understand how much power does each of the components that I'm going to uh, support with this power station draw. So I thought I'd start with the, uh, the dew heater. Uh, this is the controller for the $19.99 dew heater. I had no idea how much heat low put out versus middle versus high. So I decided just to use the dew heater in high mode, and then I was going to take some measurements, which I'll uh, share with you in a moment. So here was the Jackery Explorer 240, 100% charge, no load. And one thing I want to point, about, uh, point out about the Jackery, and if you have them, I'm sure you're already uh, familiar with this, but you'll see that there are individual switches associated with the different power ports and that's really a nice feature because you could just turn off all the ports with that with that power switch uh, per uh, port type so I got started it was zero minutes I plugged in my dew heater and I saw that it was drawing seven watts so okay uh, not too bad but would the draw be consistent over time? So uh, what I did was I took another reading at the 30 minute point. I wanted to see when it's drawing 7 watts what percent of the available battery would it use. I have a infrared uh, thermometer that uh, my wife and I use for our outdoor pizza oven and I decided to take some temperature readings. The lens, which I'm taking a reading of now that says 63 degrees, that lens was 76 degrees uh, while in the house, and my house had an ambient temperature of 72 degrees. So um, I found that interesting quite quickly with an outside amb ambient temperature of 50 degrees, uh, that front lens cooled down uh, rather quickly. I also took readings uh, on the outside surface of the strap, so taking a reading from the from the side. And I think at this point in time, at uh, kind of zero minutes, it had just been brought outside. I guess uh, I guess it was out there for a few minutes before I plugged in the dew heater. It was still reading 76 degrees on the outside surface of the dew heater strap. After uh, 30 minutes with a 7 watt load, my battery availability was showing 98%. And so here's just a little chart that I made. 
it's not real scientific. Uh, the test was more, you know, for my own information, if any of this is helpful to you, uh, that's fantastic. Um, but I, I plot the uh, ambient temperature, lens temperature, strap temperature, dial temperature, and uh, what the load was and battery availability over time. So I like to do these type of things, especially when I'm, you know, I didn't know anything about dew strap, didn't know uh, how much power was it going to consume, uh, how much it was going to deplete uh, over time, you know, was this strap going to get hot to the touch? So that's kind of why I was taking the, uh, the outside readings. And then uh, was it going to heat up the lens? You know, and is that a good thing or a bad thing? I would imagine if you're trying to keep dew off, uh, the purpose is to create some heat uh, around the front element uh, to help keep the dew down. But there's a lot I got to learn yet. I really need to get this scope out there with the dew strap and everything uh, out on a, on a chilly night where the temperature drops off over time, where the ambient, out, ambient outside temperature drops off over time. And then I'll see whether or not dew builds up. And then I guess if no dew builds up, then uh, the dew strap is working for me. Uh, I'll also need to get one for the guide scope, I understand. So that'll be my next acquisition. So I don't know if this was help for, helpful uh, for you. Uh, it was for me. I know that the strap's not going to burn up my uh, dew shield on my Xenostar 61 Mod 2, so at least that much I know. It, I'm going to be able to touch the outside of the strap. And it really didn't raise the lens area temperature in front of the, the area in front of the front lens uh, significantly. But it appeared that it did raise it for the two hour period uh, that I had it attached, where the outside am ambient temperature stayed constant at 50 degrees. So, anyway, uh, this kind of fell into, I don't know what I don't know. So I thought I would just take a moment to try to understand, uh, and fill in some of the gaps. I will uh, do this load test over time for each of the components that I'll be, uh, uh, supporting, uh, with the, uh, power station Explorer 240. And, uh, then I can determine how much confidence I can have that that's going to be uh, enough power uh, for a four or five hour stretch at night uh, of Im imaging. So anyway, uh, nothing scientific about this, but uh, it's kind of how I approach things. So if you found uh, this uh, video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. As always, I welcome new subscribers. Um, what really drives the channel are questions. And you know, Quizibo raised the question about my power station. I realized I know very little about it. How is it going to be able to, you know, to handle the load that I want to put upon it? And uh, I thought today was the day to just go out there and uh, do my own little test. So anyway, thank you for dropping into the channel. Next time. Until next time.